Hi, my name's Sean James and I'm speaking for Life the Basic Manual. I'd like to use this clip to share a few tips with you that have worked for me in terms of living in an urban environment. Some people are city naturals, born and bred, they love it. Some of us have to work a bit harder to feel mentally, emotionally and physically healthy in a city environment. And I am one of those people. In the city, I tend to feel kind of compressed, like there isn't enough air or enough space for me to feel truly at ease. And yet I've spent most of my adult life living in a city, working in a city. These are a few of the ways that I've found to manage that process. I guess one of my pointers into what might help me feel at ease in the city was looking at people who had grown up with that as their, their background. They felt at ease in the city, they moved like a fish through water, they understood its ways. I realised that what they did really was not live in a city, they lived in a series of villages. They'd found their bit, they visited other bits, but they'd found that one area within the city where familiarity had made it feel like home. So one of the first things I do if I have to make my way in a new city is find the part of it that I feel most at ease in, most resonant with, and I walk it during daylight hours when I feel safe. I walk it, I look in its shops, I go in its coffee shops, I find areas within it that offer me small wellsprings of nourishment, like a city park or a second-hand bookshop, whatever it is that works for you. So my first tip is to find your place where you feel you can create your own turf, get to know it well, get to know it well by walking it because driving it is not quite the same thing. If for reasons of practicality or safety, you can't do that, there will be a way around it. There's always a way to come to know the soul of the city that you're in. And one of those is to know its history and its culture. Really try and understand what's created the environment that you're now in. So once I've found my place where I feel at home and at ease and I've walked it and I've come to know it, for me then it's about establishing a daily routine in which I feel I can support my physical, mental and emotional health. That means finding a place where I can exercise, whether that's walking exercise or exercise in a gym, whatever is practical, whatever is safe. Many of us suffer these days because our lives are very stressful, but they're inherently sedentary. It's easy to fall into the trap when you live in a city of going home, shutting the front door, starting to look at your social media or turning on the television, and to not have any real way of connecting with your body and the process of movement. So whatever that is for you, whether it's a dance class, it's a gym, it's walking, it's yoga, find some way of being truly connected to your body on a daily basis. The next thing that works for me is to find some green space. There is some research that shows that people who have that living green of grass and foliage and trees suffer less from low mood and depression. Whether or not that's true, certainly for me, just to see that wonderful emerald shade of green at some point in my environment is really important. In London and in Manchester, I've been lucky in I've had cities that have good parks to visit. If that's the case for you and it's safe, then visit them, form a relationship with them. If it's not, find some other way of importing that green into your life, whether it's in your home, it's in your furnishings, it's in the colour of your walls, or it's with your houseplants. Have something that gives you a sense of connection to the natural world and the passage of the seasons. If you can feed the birds at your window, that's a wonderful thing. If you can have a window box, they sound like minor adjustments, but they make huge additions to the quality of our lives. Because what we forget when we live in cities is that we are fundamentally born to roam this earth, to see its skies, to feel its rain, to feel its sun. 
whatever you can do to import those aspects into your life, I think will help. It certainly did me. One of the other aspects that has made a big difference to my relationship with cities is the process of finding a social support network within them. Many millions, billions of people around our planet are drawn into the city environment from rural environments. They're seeking new opportunities, they're seeking wealth, they're seeking a fresh start, a place where they can be themselves. But often when they arrive in the city, what they feel is alienated and alone. The city can be a very cold place. My means of dealing with that has been to find like-minded people that I can spend time with. Sometimes they may be our work colleagues, but often they're not, let's face it. For me, I've tended to find a group of people I can join, I can be of service with, and whose lives are then a part of my own. This can vary really widely in terms of what people find congenial. You may want to you may want to hang out with people and do the wild thing. You may want to join a Narcotics Anonymous meeting. You may want to join a sewing group. Everybody's tastes are different. But the kind of fundamental underlying process is the idea that you're going to have to get out, make an effort, find people whose company you enjoy, risk the um, embarrassment of joining a new group and do it. It may be that you need to try a few groups before you feel really comfortable. But it's so much more rewarding to be with people with whom you can form friendships, whose lives are entwined with yours, than to sit at home looking at social media, feeling alone. So give it a try. That one I think is the kind of most three-dimensional suggestion I could give anybody for feeling at home in a city. Find your tribe and join it. One of the things that many people report that they find stressful about being in an urban environment is a sense of being at the mercy of inescapable forces beyond their control. That might be the traffic, it might be the noise of your next door neighbour, it might be many, many things. But one of my suggestions would be, in order to overcome this, is to make your home really feel like your home. Make it your own sanctuary. Put things in it that enliven your spirit, that give you a sense of joy. Create a space for you that feels as safe and welcoming as you can. And once you've done that, think about your relationship to it. Try and find a quiet spot in your flat or your room. The place that's got the things in it that when your eyes rest on them, the objects that when your eyes rest on them, you feel happy looking at them. That might be pictures of family, it might be a religious icon, it could be a picture that you admire. Find that place. Spend time in it each day. Stress, the effects of stress on the human body are pretty well studied now. We've been at it for a long time, almost a century. And one of the kind of truisms that emerges in much research is that people react the most negatively to physical and mental and emotional stress when they're in a circumstance where they feel that something inescapable is happening to them and they have no control over it. So for me, in a city environment, I try and take back what control I can. I create an environment I feel comfortable with. Often I filter my water or my air so I feel happy to eat and drink what's around me. I find people I can spend time with. But probably most importantly, I find the space within myself that feels safe. Now, you may have a myriad of your own methods for doing this. It doesn't matter whether you call it relaxation or you call it meditation. The point really is to find that place in your own psyche where nothing can really harm you because you are within yourself and you're safe within yourself. So the more time you can spend doing that each day, the less your environment, whatever it is, will impinge on you in a way that feels stressful or difficult. So in short, my suggestions are create your turf, find your own village, walk it, know it, make landmarks that are familiar and loved by you, find your own tribe and try and be of service within it 
and that's a theme that we will return to later. Make your own home environment feel as safe and warm and welcoming as you can. And in each day, try and find that place within yourself as well, where whatever is around you, you're okay because you're inhabiting your own body and you feel that that's a safe place to be. I hope this has been of use to you. Thank you for watching. I'd love to hear your feedback. We're going to have more content on these themes being posted on our YouTube channel, Life the Basic Manual, very soon. So please subscribe.